Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this lesson we'll be talking about part two of face milling. The next thing I'd like to point out is what happens if we have a tool that is not of 100 millimeter, one millimeter, 100 millimeters in diameter. It's not a face mill, but it's a simple regular end mill, say a 10 millimeter ordinary end mill, and that's the only tool we have. So choosing the technology of one pass will not be good. In this particular case, I'll choose the option of hatch, whereas the tool can go back and forth over the part itself. Now, the data that I can use in hatch is as follows. First of all, I have complete control of what angle do I want to work on over the part. The normal way to work it is zero, but I can always change it. We also have something called automatic optimal angle. Say the part is at an angle, the face that you're machining is at an angle, it'll actually use the optimal angle to do the longest cut with the least amount of stepovers going over. Now, extensions, again, I have extensions as far as the length, but I also have an extension across how much do we want to go actually off the side of the part itself? We also have the option of cutting direction. Do I want to go zigzag back and forth or one way? And when I do zigzag, I also have another option of my corners. Do I want to have a straight pass or do I want to work on a fillet as I'm going from one end to the other? And I'll simply say, okay. One more option that's important when you're doing zigzag is that we've added something in our tool in our data area. What we've added here is as follows. We have now what we call fink feed link by percentage. In other words, when your tool is going from one pass to the next pass, we can actually have it go faster than the normal feed by a specific percentage. This will allow for a quicker tool pa uh, pace for also for shorter sh machining time as we go along. I'll simply do OK, save and calculate, and as you see in our simulation now, the tool path will go down one, move its way over, until it finishes the entire part, and then it will do it again until it finishes it all. Some other notes that should be pointed out is that we've also added in 2009 the option of toolpath reverse to have it go in the reverse direction instead of the default direction. One other thing is we also have complete Z level. If I were to have many faces, not just one face to ha that had to be machined, I can actually say first complete the Z level on each one of those faces and then go down to the next level itself. Thank you for joining us on Solid Camp Professor. Take care and have a nice day.